replace a couple of glue-in bolts today in this limestone. And the first thing is to look for good quality rock in which to place the bolts. We're going to use a hammer to test the quality of the rock and look for any visual signs of cracks or weaknesses in the rock. So like with any other bolt, to test it, you want to look for a good spot and you're looking for a high-pitched ringing noise. We have uh, two types of glue-in bolts here. We're, we're just going to be using these uh, fixed uh, glue-ins. They're both bolts are stainless steel. Uh, the fix has a, a welded eye. Uh, the weld needs to be facing up when they're placed. And the shaft of the bolt has these ridges in it that the glue or resin will adhere to. The other type of bolt, the other type of glue in here is a uh, Climtech wave bolt. Slightly different design. Uh, it's also welded but at the end um, and it's got these uh, waves in it that help hold it in place in vertical placements. We're placing it here in some horizontal rocks, so we don't really need uh, that. Um, and we're, so we'll be placing a couple of these fixed style glue-ins. For the fixed glue-in, this part of the bolt is uh, 10 millimeters in diameter. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, drill a slightly oversized hole. We're going to use a half-inch drill bit, uh, make a half-inch diameter hole that'll be slightly deeper than the depth of the shaft of the bolt. And uh, that'll allow enough room for the resin to completely encase the bolt. Now that we've identified uh, good quality spots for our placements, uh, we can go ahead and drill the holes. Different manufacturers have slightly different recommendations. I'm going to be drilling these basically perpendicular to the surface of the rock. Uh, some manufacturers suggest a slight angle, 10 or 15 degrees, um, beyond vertical uh, to help uh, cam the bolt in place. Uh, but if it's good quality rock and good quality adhesive, uh, that shouldn't be necessary. For the type of bolt that you're using, you want to measure it up against the drill bit. And uh, again, we want to over drill it slightly. Uh, so we're going to be looking to drill just beyond the end of the flutes in the, in the bit here. With these uh, fixed bolts, it's going to go in like that. I prefer to put a little bit of a notch in the edge of the hole so that these uh, sit slightly recessed. That makes them a little more resistant to any torsion on the bolt once, it's, uh, once the adhesive is set. To create the small grooves at the edge of the hole, I use a slightly smaller diameter drill bit. This is a 3 8 inch and uh, drill just back from the edge slightly. Uh, you want to orient that groove in the direction of pull, so you want to look at where the bolt's going to be weighted and uh, orient it appropriately. After drilling the edges of the hole, you can dry fit the bolt. You can see how it sits slightly below the surface. Resin can then be used to sort of fill in around the edges of the bolt. Do the same thing with our other placement. The next step is to clean the hole, to clean the rock flour that we generated from the drilling process out of the hole. This is a really important, critical step, especially for, for glue-in bolts, because they rely on the resin flowing into the pores and holes in the hole to give it its mechanical strength. We want to make sure that there isn't any residual rock flour in the hole. There are several tools that you can use. Uh, the, the simplest and most common is a simple blow tube. Stick the tube down in the hole and, and blow it on your rock flower. A 
and then use the nylon brush to clean it a little better. And you want to do several cycles, at least four cycles of blowing rock flour out of the tube and, and then brushing the walls. Once the hole's drilled and has been cleaned and the bolt dry fitted, the next step is to uh, add adhesive. I'm using uh, Powers uh, AC100 Plus Gold is designed for this type of application. Uh, you have to use a mixed nozzle. It's a two-part adhesive, so there's two components inside the, uh, the cock gun and uh, they get mixed in this nozzle. Uh, so you want to dispense a fair amount of adhesive, make sure that it's uniformly mixed. You use a plastic bag to just capture any excess. So there's a lighter and a darker component, and uh, when they are mixed properly you'll get fairly uniform light gray color. Once you see that, you know it's uh, it's the right ratio. What you want to do is uh, insert the nozzle into the hole to the bottom of the hole, and then start to dispense uh, the the resin and uh, withdraw the nozzle as you dispense it. You don't want to fill it completely. The bolt is going to take up a fair amount of space in the hole and it's going to displace a lot of that resin. And go ahead and insert the bolt. I rotate it a little bit as I insert it to allow the resin to flow around any grooves in the bolt. Uh, also these bolts have a welded uh, connection. That weld needs to be in the up direction or away from the direction of pull. Use a rag or paper towel to wipe off any excess. And I just use my finger to sort of fill in any gaps around the edge of the bolt. Finally, you need to allow enough time for the adhesive to fully cure. Uh, every adhesive manufacturer has slightly different recommendations. Uh, this uh, Powers AC100 adhesive uh, is supposed to set within about an hour. Uh, some adhesives take as long as 24 hours. Better to err on the side of being conservative and allow more time rather than less. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, so you can learn about other videos on the subject of caving. And comment below to let me know how I'm doing, or to suggest other caving-related topics.